Just to show you how crazy this is, follow along with me for a minute here. All you have to do is choose a 2D image that you like. It can be something AI generated or just a piece of art that you found. After a couple minutes of the AI doing its magic behind the scenes, you have a fully textured 3D model that you can download. I then went ahead and took this over to Blender and created a custom skeleton for animations. Now we can export our Blender model with its new armature to a usable format for whatever game engine you use. In this case, I'll be using Unity. And after taking the Unity default third-person controller animations, and doing some cleanup on everything, we have a fully fledged character model working. If what I just showed you doesn't completely terrify you, you're a lot braver for the future than I am. Because at the end of the day, what I just showed you is hundreds of thousands of people losing their jobs over the next couple of years. That's a conversation for another day though. Today I'm just here to show you how crazy far this model has come in 18 months and what it can do already. This crazy website that I'm showing you today is called Meshi.ai. While they do have AI texturing and text to vector tools, I'm not going to be going over those today because I think they're not not nearly as cool as the other two tools that they have. Quick side note, all of this was done with the free version of this site. I'm not sponsored or affiliated in any way, but you can go check it out and it is pretty cool. I know I've shown this one off a lot already, but take a good look at this mushroom character again, just how smooth all the edges are and how good the texture looks. It really is probably the best one it generated. This next one is a good example of a really good mesh with a really bad texture job. You can see from the 2D image in the top left that it just couldn't get the lighting right and it really botched a lot of the textures on it. A lot of the models I did are also either monsters or heavily armored characters because it really doesn't have the detail to do like human skin and faces yet. And this was a pretty good one. You can see a little bit of off texturing with the light and dark parts, but pretty solid all around. Then I wanted to try something that was a little less of a T-pose to see if it could get it right, and it really, really missed the texture again on this. A pretty solid job on the mesh again, but these texture problems are really rough on some of these. You have to give it a picture that has like perfect lighting if you're going to use the image to 3D. And one last example of this for a bit. It's another one with a really solid mesh and it even got the bottom half of the texture really good, but it just messed up the top half where the lighting's a little goofy. This is to show you that even though you can get some really good models out of it, you're also going to get a lot of failures. Finally, an example of a super good one again. This image looked pretty similar to the movie Alien, the main creature in that, and this mesh came out so good. The texture is great, the mesh looks perfect, there's nothing to complain about with this one. And here with this forest guardian you can really start to get the idea that it nails down these fantasy creatures really well it still messes up little bits of textures but it does so much better on these than humanoid type objects i really like this next forest guardian it's a lot darker looking and i think it did a great job on the shading of the texture you can see the feet are a little wacky especially on the back of the texture they're super white for some reason i think it got lucky and it kind of blends with the texture so nothing really to complain about with this one too Ooh boy, let's spend some time on this one. So this is fantastic. Look how good the armor looks. It blends to the rest of the model perfect. I never imagined it would do this well. For some reason, it didn't really give him eyes, which doesn't sit right, but if that's the only complaint out of this whole model, that's extremely impressive. This one did so good, and it's such a good fantasy creature that could fit in any MMO game. Because that one was so good, I decided to try another Lizard Warrior, and as you can see, complete botch job, it just added random meshes everywhere, and it looks horrible. Although I think bipedal characters are generally better for most games, easier to animate and more usable in most areas, I wanted to see how it would do with one quadruped, and it really nailed it. This wolf looks great, and I think this would be usable in most modern games. Now I got back into trying some of those humanoid armors again, since these things are the perfect example of a human type character you can make without needing a lot of detail but even though this one looks good it decided to go whack on the proportions and make it like a gorilla since it was doing pretty bad on the halo style characters i decided to go more for a warhammer type image and it did really great again here you can see it lost some of the finer mesh on the back where it can't see the image where it kind of has to imagine its own thing and it does whiff a little bit where it just kind of strings things together without a lot of detail the texture is a tiny bit off in some places too but overall a really good one same thing with this guy, looks super similar to the last one, which I think is a good thing. Got its proportions really good, got the heavy armor really good. Has that same kind of mesh kind of blending together in some spots, where it just kind of doesn't have detail and just smooths it. I wouldn't call it bad, but definitely gets a little fuzzy. And I wanted to throw this last little mushroom in here. It was one that I purposely tested that had really weird lighting on the picture and I wanted to see if the AI could handle it, and the answer is an obvious no. It got the mesh almost perfect again, a little bit of details off in some places, but it's mostly just the texture. It really cannot do these textures if you have odd lighting on an image. The 2D to 3D overall though image conversion was insanely impressive. And I'm throwing in one bonus 2D image to 3D model here as I'm editing the video, because look how cool this one looks. I don't know why it does mushroom monsters so well. 
but something about this guy just screams perfect fantasy character and could be completely ready for a game. Now we're going to be taking a look at some of the text to 3D, which means it doesn't even need an image, it just comes up with it just from a text prompt that you give it. These for the most part worked about the same quality, so if you want the AI just to come up with something completely on its own without any guidance, it's a good option. This Space Marine did a pretty good job on the armor, but the gun's really whack looking, and the texture is pretty good overall too. Next up, I tried something a little creative, doing a Space Paladin like a knight. It just botched the weapon again though and makes it look like a really bad model overall. Here's another good one, just a basic astronaut. It did a really good job. I tried to give it some specific guidelines and it just ignored them though. And ugh, this one creeps me out, but it did a way too lifelike spider. I wanted it to be like a rock or like a stone spider, but it just didn't understand what I meant. This one though is just a total wow factor. I gave it a pretty ambiguous prompt of just a tentacle monster, and the AI went hard here. It made a perfect texture for this thing. The mesh is really good too. Did a great job on all the limbs and extra tentacles. It just looks so good. I was especially blown away that it did this one without a base image, that it just came up with this. And last up, here's another attempt at an astronaut, and it actually did a really good job. This is why I tried removing the backpack in the other one, because it did this one perfect, but I wanted it without that, and it just can't seem to do it. Here's a little bonus for you in the background too. This is an example of a model made with the Meshi 3, and just look how much worse it looks. This AI model has come an insane way in six months since then. That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and thank you for watching this. AI is terrifying, and there probably aren't going to be any tech jobs left in a couple years.